A few days ago, after taking Congress to dinner, OpenAI CEO Sam Altman testified in front of Congress in a hearing regarding the future of AI. Sam pushed for the regulation of AI, and whilst this might seem like a good move to stop world domination by robots, what it won't stop is OpenAI. Let's have a brief background on who Sam is. Well, he's a Silicon Valley vet. He co-founded his first company at 19 and ended up selling it for over $40 million. After that, he became partner at Y Combinator, which is a venture capital type company. They have a crazy track record in a prestigious network. After partner for there for a few years, he became CEO of YC. He then left to start OpenAI where using his investment skills and prestigious network, he was able to get a billion dollars plus in funding from the likes of Peter Thiel of PayPal, Elon Musk and AWS. So OpenAI started as a not-for-profit company. So they had open source code, meaning you could see their code versus like a normal company where they just give you access to the app and not the actual code itself. However, this wasn't very long lived when they quickly pivoted to being capped profit company capped at a hundred times investment meaning for every one dollar in investment they could earn up to a hundred dollars in profit and when you have one billion dollars in investment that's a hefty profit you can rack up well apparently this was to attract better investment and better talent so people could actually come and work for OpenAI. at this time they also switched to closed source code which means that not only now could you not see the engine but also we can't see any of the data they use to train it. So the model which they use for ChatGPT, we have no idea what data has been used to train that. Could be yours, could be mine. So anyway, not quite open AI. But what did they talk about at Congress? The main reason for the hearing was over the fears of AI, specifically the following. Loss of jobs, invasion of privacy, personal privacy, manipulation of personal behavior, manipulation of personal opinions, and potentially the degradation of free elections in America. Even Sam expressed his concern over worst case scenarios. My worst fears are that we cause significant, we, the field, the technology, the industry, cause significant harm to the world. I think if this technology goes wrong, it can go quite wrong. Although I think it's important here to realize that when people express worst case scenarios, I think sometimes it's almost like to create this sense of fallibility. It then gives you a sense of authority. So I take it with a pinch of salt. Sam then goes on to claim that AI improves nearly every aspect of our lives and, and that we get so much value from what these systems do today. But I can't help but feel that those, these kind of words are very subjective. Especially when you're coming from a world of technology whereby any level of automation is improvement. Instead it's this weird way they've twisted the word improvement to mean efficient. So now when stuff in the world is efficient, it's improved. What makes reality real and what makes it enjoyable is the presence and being in the moment and doing things. And when we're removing all of these quote unquote barriers, such as, you know, writing an email, really you're just freeing up time, which then you don't know how to fill. And he does then say that we're incredibly creative with this creepy little smirk. The landscape will change. I think I'm just more optimistic that we are incredibly creative, incredibly creative, and we find new things to do with better tools and that will keep happening. And yes, kind of, but if you look at the rates of drug abuse, addictions, mental health issues, are we really that good? Or are we now just becoming drones who just search for dopamine all day? So anyway, Sam, what do you think the solution is? Partnership between the industry and government, but mostly action by government to figure out how we want to mitigate that. I think if this technology goes wrong, it can go quite wrong. And we want to be vocal about that. We want to work with the government to prevent that from happening. And on the surface, this would make sense, right? You regulate it so that you can stop bad guys doing stuff. However, he says you don't want to slow down open source effort, but if you regulate it, you obviously slow down open source effort. You obviously slow down small company growth. When you regulate it, you're essentially then gonna create what's called a regulatory moat. In simple terms, what that means is that you're using your connections to create regulation to give you a moat between you and the competition to make sure that you're ahead and they can't get there. Now, how do you do this? You create legal barriers. You have compliance costs, government relationships, market entry barriers, industry expertise. So essentially you're creating this world in which you need money, you need connections, etc., to actually have any impact and don't even get me started on lobbying. Now, if this wasn't bad enough, you might remember at the beginning I mentioned they went for dinner. Yes, Sam Altman went for dinner with Congress the night 
before the hearing. Is this actually then, instead of talking to Congress because he's already talked to them, is this just a way to create a show for the public? The other solution which he talks about is surrounding data privacy issues. He suggests what we could do is we could have an opt out. Now I don't know about you, but if everyone is gonna start data-driven startups and they can get the data from the internet and the only way they don't use my data is if I contact them to say, oh, by the way, don't use it because I have to opt out, not in. This is just going to be an absolute logistical nightmare unless they have a centralized data place. But then if they have a centralized place for data, then someone has all your data. So it's, um, it's important to note here that actually OpenAI are currently being sued. Yes, in conjunction with GitHub and Microsoft who own GitHub, last November a group of developers filed a lawsuit against them. Why? Well, because they're creating a new product called Copilot to help generate code. And apparently they've been using developers code without their permission. And so when asked if he's ever been sued in front of Congress, he says, yeah, we've gotten sued before. When they ask what for, he says, I mean, um, they've mostly been like pretty frivolous things like I think happens to any company. It turns out this frivolous thing that he appears to be talking about is using people's data without their consent, which opens up the massive problem here which is all of these models are trained on data from the internet well they just take it and don't tell you what they've used so all of this it makes you wonder is sam really here in the interest of open ai to protect the world or is he simply here to protect himself <laughs>